The fluorescence detection system uses a confocal optical system to access sample and collect emission lights. The laser light is focused into a laser spot around 10 micrometer at a specific focal depth. The focal depth is adjusted by software through a moving focus lens, upside and down. With the moving of the optical box on real, the laser spot can access samples at various radii in a radio direction. The array fluorescence detection system includes a switch box at A position, a system box, a mounting bracket, and an optics box. The optics box contains light source, detector, and optics. In this demonstration, we use double sector centerpieces for cells, comparing with other detection systems. The fluorescence detection system directly acquires specific fluorescence signals from samples, which doesn't need a reference sector. One cell can be loaded with two different samples at two sectors. In order to differentiate the two samples, the left sector is named as sector A. The right sector is named as sector B. When the altering is facing you and the loading holes are on the top of the cell. In this experiment, the sector A is loaded with 50 nanomolar EGFP and the sector B is loaded with 100 nanomolar EGFP. The fluorescence detection system requires a calibration cell. The middle right angle channel of the calibration cell is loaded with 40 microliter, 10 micromolar fluorescing in trace buffer pH 7.8. Load the cells into the rotor with screws facing the center of the rotor. From the back of the rotor, align the cell's marker with the rotor's marker. Power on AUC. Place the rotor in the driving of AUC. The optics box is kept on the storage plate. Pull out dust cover. Remove the optics box from the storage plate. Align the box with electrical connector and guided poles on the mountain bracket. Push it to make the box sit properly. Tighten screws by fingers and fix them by a screwdriver. Turn on system box. Check lights on the optics box. Two lights should be on. Close chamber. Turn on vacuum. Set the temperature at 20 degrees C and speed at 0 RPM. Click start. When the temperature reaches the target temperature, Incubate the rotor in the centrifuge for two hours. To start the software, double click the AOS icon. After confirming the rotor and the position of the calibration cell, the system initiates. In the upper right corner, the optic system panel shows the status of fluorescence, laser, centrifuge, interface, and the magnet angle. After initiation, the lights of fluorescence, the centrifuge power, and the interface power are green. The laser is available with a yellow light. The magnet angle is not available in this step. To start the communication between software with centrifuge, 
click Start button and choose Start Instrument Selection. If your centrifuge is running already, you can skip this step. When vacuum goes below 170 microns, the laser light changes from yellow to blue, indicating laser is warming up. When the laser is ready to use, the light turns to green. To set up experiment parameters, click the Experimental Wizard button as a global icon in the upper left corner. The Experimental Wizard panel pops up. Click the Wizard button. Put in the login information. Input the experimental title and select the data path. Here, I create a new folder for my data. You can set up running parameters by clicking the method button. Select one method from storage methods or create a new method. Check the rotor setup again. Select the scanning cells. Deselect unwanted cells. Check the laser status. If the laser light is green, the laser is ready to use. Just change the spinning speed to experiment speed from the centrifuge console and click Enter. When the speed reaches the target, the magnet angle light is going to change. The magnet angle synchronizes the rotor movement with the signal processing. When the magnet angle is logged, the system knows which sector is in the optical path at the given time. If the magnet angle fails to lock, click the fluorescence menu and select fluorescence focusing. The FDS focusing and calibration tool panel pops up. To secure the locking of the magnet angle, the fluorescent intensity should be around 1000 counts. To adjust the fluorescence intensity, slide the PMT voltage bar. The sensitivity of the system's detection is regulated by PMT tube voltage, and the signal can be further amplified by gains. To obtain the proper signal, you need to adjust PMT tube voltage and gains. Click the fluorescence menu and select the setup. The voltage can be chosen from 0 to 80%, and the gain can be selected among 1, 2, 4, 8. The fluorescence intensity should be between 500 and 3500 counts. The proper sector angle can reduce the noise. To set up, click the sector button. The cell setup panel pops up. Select cells from the cell number and choose the sector. The diagram shows the fluorescence signal at a specific radio position in each sector. Two stationary black lines show data average range. Wobbly lines indicate fluorescence intensity. To reduce noises, make sure black lines do not overlap with the boundary of wobbly lines. So the data average range will not fall into the boundary of the fluorescence. If you are doing an experiment with a trace amount fluorescence label, the background signal might be high and the solution signal might be low. Now the scan is ready. Click Start button. Select the Start experiment. Select No to Restart Experiment from Speed 0. Click Menu Start. Scan Start Now and data are acquired. Here, 
we are going to use set fit to analyze the data. To start, load some data from the experiment. Click Options menu, and then click Fluorescence 2 menu, and then click Sort Fluorescence Data to Disk. Choose Yes to sort data to this folder options and make a list file. You can select specific data by setting up time range. Here I'm going to sort all data file. The experiment runs 12 hours. The T minimum is 0 seconds and the T maximum is 43,200 seconds. You can select how many scans you want to analyze among all scans. Here I'm going to select 50. Exclude the number 4 cell, which is a calibration cell. You can select specific scans by setting up signal intensity range and the scanning range. Here, all experiment data will be sorted, so choose No to exclude files with signal below threshold in R minimum, R maximum interval. A new sorted folder will be created under Data File folder. To import files from a sector, input star.fl cell number lower dash sector in the file name. All files from that sector will show up. Another way to import files is to import the listing file. Here, I'm going to import the listing file. To analyze the data, just follow the same steps used in absorbance and interference sedimentation velocity data. The CS model is sufficient to analyze fluorescence data. If it is required, some unique characteristic properties of fluorescent signal can be resolved by fluorescence 2 panel. Click ALT and F together. The fluorescence 2 panel pops up. How to use those parameters to study fluorescent signal can be found in the paper we published before.